It's their most special day of their life. I mean, it's like the beginning of their, their lives together. It's really pretty to watch it, um, see him get married. I mean, you, you see them, you know, the bride's in here, everybody's outside anticipating her to walk down the aisle. And she looks really pretty with her dress on. And then all of a sudden it all just comes together and the bride walks down the aisle and it's absolutely magical. It's really cool that you get to experience that with them and help them make it a really good day and something that they're gonna remember. It's their most special day of their life. I mean, it's like the beginning of their, their lives together. And the one rule of thumb is, the bride is always right. So as long as you know that, on that day, what she needs to have happen, you try to make happen. Well, we've built several barns. We've done timber framing over the years, and uh, we just decided to uh, try a, a wedding barn of our own. He hand drew most of the blueprints. You know, like I've seen like even when he was doing construction, all of his you know his artist pencils and his blueprints and everything, and how he's able to start from scratch on something like this is really amazing. One of my favorite things is seeing people's reaction when they come in. They don't expect this. We work so hard to create this, and it is, it's very special. I didn't know anything about the wedding business when we started, and it's challenging. I mean, you try your best, you develop a relationship with them. You get to know them, you get to know their family. My mom definitely is like, the backbone. She's the person I've looked up to like my whole entire life. She's the hardest worker I know and we definitely couldn't do it without her. I'm super proud of Ashlyn. I think she was 13 or something when we kind of started. She's really taken over on uh, being bartender. She likes that aspect of it and does a good job. I think people are a little surprised that I'm the one kind of in charge in the back. Uh, behind the bar. It's a lot of hard work, but I'm very grateful that it's been like ingrained in me to have that work ethic. I think it's really cool to be like a part of this business. Usually I sometimes do dishes, take down tables, take off tablecloths at the end of the night. I never thought we'd be cooking for about 400 people every weekend. <laughs> It's a little different. <laughs> we do bruschetta chicken, honey teriyaki tenderloin tips, garlic mashed potatoes, macaroni and cheese. It's fresh. We do a lot with grilling and smoking and uh, it's just hot off the grill. I've seen them grill like 175 steaks before. Everyone saw the venue and was immediately taken back by it. This place is so beautiful on its own that it doesn't require a whole lot of decor. It's very like whimsical, in the woods. The venue itself is your decor. I mean, at the woodwork, obviously you have the chandeliers with the tree roots. And I actually loved it so much here that I now work as the wedding coordinator here. Yeah.